everyone in today's video I'm gonna complete what we started last uh, video in uh, making those columns and grids and dimensions so I'm gonna extend to create uh, uh, beams that cover up uh, or just based on those uh, columns and the same uh, grid system that we have just not to go just for columns but rather than to create uh, beams and dimension and columns at the same time in the same file so as I said before this uh, gonna go step by step to make the entire building uh, parametrically and uh, <clears throat> sorry uh, so you're gonna gr create a grid a uniform grid of course and all beams and columns and then slab and then walls will be generated for you for the, such a type of uh, building so let's uh, go ahead I'm gonna get rid of those guys uh, and before I go with the dynamo business I'll just go to the column and I'm going to uh, structural columns and then I'm gonna load the family uh, again that's a structural columns a concrete I'm gonna have something rectangular like this guy and in beams I'll go structural and then beams and then you know just load should find it in structural framing and then concrete and then this guy I'll just hit cancel I just need to load them not to place them so putting that aside so let's uh, go ahead so I just created another copy of the files and if you remember those were just to create the dimensions and those guys we end up in here to make uh, you know the columns so structural framing dot column by curves so I'm gonna just place those guys I'm just gonna have this uh, uh, 300 by 450 as a column as uh, a rectangular one and I will just hit run so I just need to know what is or what was the whole thing and it might take a couple of uh, you know seconds uh, sometimes it took like uh, four minutes from me I don't know why uh, just my machine going crazy and let's see so based on what we have here before we can go ahead and uh, place the uh, the frame sorry the new beam system and here we go it's again slow as we know probably I need to pause and then get back when this finish I don't want to waste your time and now we go again uh, now you see the grids has been changed into rectangular one so that's what I wanted to see here in Dynamo with the, the main uh, lines that represent those uh, columns and based on that we're gonna go back because this uh, those points is gained by the intersection which is this guy uh, between the horizontal and vertical grid that we you know make them disappeared and then we translate them up to make the points or the endpoint for the columns so we technically need to start up the grid from this point to this point so if I open this I'm gonna see that I flatten both uh, this one before I translate them up that makes sense in order to make them divided uh, as a start point and as an end point so you need them to be individuals it's okay but for me in this case I need to have a special way of organizing so I need to take a copy from the origin again which is the geometry intersection which is there the, the points on the ground so we need to do uh, a special flatten for them so I'm gonna have a copy of that I'm just selecting this and with control I'm gonna move it down so this flat again it's taking from that guy and let me just push it here so you understand the difference and I'm just gonna change the flat into level 3 and then and then hit run again and I wish it is not gonna take forever beautiful just happen so quick that's what I need 
I just flatted this getting it from level 1 sorry from level 2 to level 3 so I need the overall list that contains you know the whole lines and rows because based on that I'm gonna build a special uh, node inside Dynamo that gonna do uh, you know drawing the lines here between vertically and horizontally between those points so what I needed again is to make a, f a new flat and new organizing for this matrix or lists to contain those points where each point is actually as you can see here see it's like a rose the entire rose this one is is the entire row here and then the other one is here and it goes all the way up and unfortunately I couldn't take that from the originally moved or the geometry translate one this one because it's already been flattened so yep we've done that so I'm gonna take a copy of this probably we need this one and yes I'm gonna keep the height as the same just the geometry will change this is the geometry we need which is based on this sequence so if I run that you're gonna get the same sequence exactly and it's just located up so just I'm gonna zoom out so you can see so see now we are talking up so if I turn off this and select all I get all the upper nodes or the upper points actually has been highlighted so technically the same thing in here but in a different organization now let's uh, let's do this now we have our points now we need the usual the structural frame structural framing so that's the type that's the type selector beautiful and we need beam by curve of course makes sense so that's the beam by curve it's structural framing system and that's the type so you've got to connect this guy to this and select the beam type which we already loaded before levels yes we can do that easily it's just level two now the annoying really annoying business which is the curves which have brought us to this whole story so we need lines those are points those need lines curves so I'm gonna use my you know magic weapon here it's a uh, it's a grid points to horizontal and vertical lines that I just designed a couple of hours ago to get rid of this headache by drawing the lines or having a set of point organized in rows and columns to be created or to be switched into you know a line so I'm gonna connect this to this I'm gonna show you that in a couple of seconds and then you know probably we need two of those yes sir uh, one for the horizontal lines one for the vertical lines and one of, I mean one for the horizontal beams and the other one for the vertical beams actually now when we run this machine it should generate for us this guy the one that I just designed it's a custom node it's gonna create for us lines here in a lot in a horizontal matter and a vertical matter and then those lines will be set into those beam creator to create beams here in rivet uh, as you can see those this guy this node that I created it's actually creating lines for us a horizontal lines so each one of those is a line here from those points and those curves goes twice to this lovely thing to create the columns and sorry to create the beams as you can see in here so that's a, a really nice way to create an entire building, an entire set of constructional, you know, parts. Uh, the a whole structural system can be just generated with a couple of clicks instead of, you know, uh, wasting a, a serious amount of time trying to do that manually and place each column uh, individually and now you can see that I just raised the level 2 to 4 and you can see everyone is following 
exactly the change in the order that I gave. Let's just change that for and the overall height for the columns and beams is actually changed too. So that's uh, that sounds interesting and can be really, really a time saver for you. And that's the end up result, by the way. When the only one thing you really need to have a look at is this guy. You have to create a uh, you have to create a custom node for that, and I don't know if I if I posted on my YouTube channel anything regarding creating custom nodes. I really don't remember. But if you want me if you want me to show you how to do that, you, I can do detail more video about how you can create this. But anyway, I'll, I'll just double click on that to open it for you. So if you have a previous knowledge of making custom nodes, you can go ahead and create your own. If you don't, again, just don't hesitate to ask. I will post a video of how to do this in details if you want. Anywho, you can see that, guys. That's a that's an input. Anyway, it's just give it a name. That's a grid of points. Blah blah blah. And I write something here. It shouldn't be flattened. It's not flattened. It's actually have to be uh, up to uh, level three out of uh, an array of a, a, a matrix of points. A list of points based on a rows uh, organization and then uh, this guys will be divided whatever points you're gonna give can divide and run into process one should end up by creating horizontal line and the other should be ending up by creating vertical lines so what happening here is in the horizontal I'm gonna have a list shift indices and I'm gonna give it minus one to create two copies of those points you give and then create lines from this point the first the first list and the second list so I have a set of points again and it divided itself into two matrix or two copies with a difference or shifted one so one of them will be the start and the second the immediate second will be the end point for the lines combining those together will create lines which is the horizontal lines and then you gotta drop unfortunately I can't open that because it's uh, it's uh, I'm just looking at the preview mode through the original uh, dynamo node that's a that's a function here and then I dropped I have a node here called drop last item so I don't get a continuous line or a, a long beam that run a duplicated place above another one then I have to flat them and then you know just give them an output the other guy the vertical lines again it's different again I start up by list dot shift indices but instead of minus one I gave it one that's uh, that's annoying thing and then or actually before I have to make it a transpose list so instead of a horizontal line should be a vertical line and then almost the same thing, a line by start point, and then I didn't find for some reason list.drop first item for a crazy reason, I couldn't find it here. So I just define it myself, it's just add a one to the list of dropped items. So the first one will be dropped, flatten it out, and then give it as an output. So those two things will be the output in this thing. You know, it will be the input again. If you didn't understand this in detail, I'm I can just pop that on YouTube. Uh, and ask me to do that, and I will do that and show you that in real uh, uh, real time uh, situation how you why it's been divided like that in more detail anyway, if you don't know what I'm talking about or if you didn't understand the idea of a custom node. Anyway, so close that back, okay, get ourselves to our dynamo file to you know those are the outputs this is the output that I was talking about. And as you can see, everything has been generated smoothly and nicely nicely sorry so I wish that you go ahead and, and try that and uh, see how things can go for you probably flexing this maybe a five by four instead of this huge amount of number run that and then have a look at the changes that we might get in here and uh, I wish it doesn't take too long as usual oops so I'm gonna unjoin those
you might get some warning messages actually deleting and changing the uh, the joints that is already been created uh, that will happen due to the fact that Revit have to join uh, an actual three or four types ending up by having some crazy elements like this so don't freak out just delete the whole thing if it was not uh, really what you was expecting and go ahead again and then run that it should uh, create it without you know the scary thing so don't get uh, you know terrified when you see this crazy beams doing things uh, you wasn't actually expecting them to do and just you know just select all and delete and then get it back again and you're gonna get yourself a nice and beautiful uh, nice and beautiful uh, uh, grid system and beam system and column system and dimension system just with one click so I, f I wish that you find this uh, video useful uh, wish everything uh, going well with this if you have any question just pop that again on YouTube I wish that you find it useful again and have a good day bye bye